Okay everybody, welcome. Welcome once again to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Emacs games. So the idea is that Emacs comes up with the pre-installed games at which you can actually run in the Emacs text editor. So the idea is that you can also create games in Emacs as well. So for now, for this video, we'll focus on the games which are already there. So there are basically two fundamental ways in which you can actually search for those games. Uh, there is an amusement section in Emacs, here, so you can press Ctrl H and I, uh, then you'll be uh, directed here. Okay, so here you can see that it says uh, you press M, then it would take you to the menu, then you write Emacs, then you hit Enter, and it would basically take you to the Emacs manual. And in the Emacs manual, you'd be able to find amusement section and in the amusement section you would have a game section in which uh, there would be a complete list of games okay so the idea is that i'm also gonna post the list of the games available in emacs in the description okay so you, if you don't want to go there you can directly uh, you know read our description if you don't want to read the manual then from the description you can have a list of the games which are available in emacs okay so instead of going to the manual, what we would do, we would directly um, go and we would, uh, you know, try to have some games, okay? So we'll try to run some games, okay? So we press Control, uh, sorry, Meta X, um, and after pressing Meta X, uh, you can see that we have this right here, the cursor here. So now what we are going to do that we're going to write here, Animate. And then we press stab and you can see that uh, it has auto filled it so animate birthday present so this is a game okay so I hit enter and it says birthday present for so let me just type in here Linux hint and when I hit enter you can see that it says happy birthday Linux hint and then basically uh, it prints out a specific amount of text here okay so if you want to go back from here usually from one screen to the other screen if you want to go back you press l or you press u but you can see here um when you press it you cannot go anywhere right so still you're inside the buffer okay so what you have to do is you press meta x and now you are in here okay so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna write here kill buffer so what it would do it would kill the buffer you can see that it is asking for the confirmation so you hit enter and you can see that now that game window has been closed okay so there is another game that would like to try so if we press meta x again um, and if we write here bubbles which is a game uh, so if we hit enter you can see that we have all these different colors of balls so if you come here if you hit enter on this I think or space uh, okay so what you have to do that you have to select uh, you you come on here and uh, you know all of them are selected so all of them are selected now so now you can see that basically all the bubbles have been removed and it has given us the score okay so selected bubbles were 64 and the score is 2780 okay so i hope you have got the point so now this game has ended so if i want to replay i would go into the buffer and write uh, bubbles again and if i want to quit this buffer i press uh, meta x and then i'd write here um a kill buffer okay so i hit enter and you can see that my buffer has been killed so now uh, there is another game that we would like to try and that is i think uh, it is butterfly so let's see what happens with the uh, butterfly i think this is just a small um, yes i would write here yes you can see that it is just a kind of a text which animates okay so um successfully flipped one bit okay so it would basically flip that text all right so there is another game available so before that we just need to kill the uh, buffer 
so um, again meta x and now you're gonna write here snake okay so that is a very popular game you which you can play with the arrow keys or i think j and k as well so now you can see that the snake is dead and the score is like one okay so previously i played this game as well back then my score was 15 okay so it basically shows you uh, the record and the time as well that when the last time you have played this game okay so it keeps the record as well okay so there is another interesting game uh, that i'd like to share with you i press meta x and then i kill this buffer and um, after that i press again meta x so let's say if you are in meta x and you are stuck and you have written something you know i don't know so if you want to quit it you press ctrl g and it would basically quit the uh, uh, buffer okay so now uh, we press meta x again and here we run again let me just uh, kill the buffer so I press meta x again and there is another uh, game uh, which is really interesting and that is basically doctor. So if you type in doctor here, um, it would run this uh, game here. Okay, so inside this game, uh, so there are basically uh, two windows right here. So what you can do is that you can press control x and then one. So it would make it a uh, one window. So you can see that it says I am a psychotherapist. Uh, please describe your problems each time. And when you're finished talking, uh, type uh, return twice or type enter twice. So I have pressed enter twice with, uh, without writing anything. So it says, why do you say that? And what do you think? So I'd write here. Um, I think I am a programmer. Okay. So it, it doesn't make sense, but it says, what makes you believe you think you're a programmer? Uh, because I code, okay? So you can see that, uh, can you elaborate on that? Uh, I write code for computer. So you have your mind on computers, it seems. So basically it is kind of an interactive game okay so it's very interesting i find it very interesting it would keep it would keep on asking you interesting questions related to your answers and so it, it the interaction is really superb and i'm really impressed with this game okay so you can play that as well doctor so uh, there are other games as well so let me just press meta x uh, let me just kill the buffer so last game that would try is uh, meta x and then we'd write here tetris okay so uh, this is a uh, basically a kind of this game puzzle game i think in your childhood you must have played it uh, because i have played it uh, it's a very interesting uh, sort of game um, so you basically you know uh, you uh, so basically you you know combine these shapes in an order so let's say that if I don't know what game, uh, you know, how to play this game, what I would do, I press Ctrl H for help and then I press M. Okay. So let me just press Ctrl H and then M. So you can see that we have this manual for this game. Um, let me just press again. So here we have fundamental mode defined in simple.el, which is our file and uh, it's on auto composition it's a minor mode and uh, when auto composition mode is enabled text characters are automatically composed by functions registered in here okay so this is basically uh, all the information about the um, enable minor modes so this is the all the information about the tetris game so if you click on it you'll be able to see and take a look at this code and you can understand that how this game is running and working you can even read the comments to understand okay so i hope you have got the point um, you have learned something new in today's video so before we go let us try another game which is essentially a black box so you can see that black box is here so if we press ctrl h and then m uh, we have enabled so major mode for playing that uh, playing black box so to learn how to play bla uh, black box see the documentation for function black box so you can click on that and you can basically um, read about this game and you can see that how uh, to play this game
Okay, so that's it from this video. I hope you have learned something new. You have enjoyed playing games. Um, you know, go ahead and try different games. It's it. You know, they are really interesting. And I'm gonna put uh, all the list of the games available in the Emacs, uh, and that list would be in the description. So, so thanks so much. And for written articles, you can keep visiting our website, linuxin.com. I'll see you in the next video.